What is up guys? My name is Nick. And my name is Henna. And we're a couple traveling the world as much as possible. And we're sharing our photos on Instagram, YouTube, under the name Salt in Her Hair. So many people asked us to create presets to get that Salt in Her Hair look. And we're so happy to finally release them. You can get the presets at saltinherhair.com slash presets or the link down below. Most of the time Hannah edits our photos and she's going to explain you now how the presets work. Now you have downloaded the presets, we're going to open them. This is the Salt in Her Hair Lightroom presets folder. As you can see, here are the nine presets. If you go to Lightroom, you have this little preset corner here. The first thing you're going to do is creating a new folder and give your folder a name. I will call this folder Salt in our hair presets. Click on create and there's your folder. If you give this folder a right click, you can choose for import and search for your presets. Select them all and click import again. As you can see here, all the presets are now in the Salt in her hair preset folder. Let's start off with this first photo. We've made this photo last year in Amsterdam. What we're going to do now is pick a preset in our Salt in her hair preset folder. Let's choose for cinematic feelings. This filter gives you a whole cinematic look on your photos. It gives the green leaves on the trees a little more orange, so you get that more autumn look. The only thing I would like to change to this picture after putting this preset on is bringing the highlights a little bit back over here. If you click on this radial filter, you can drag it on top of the subject that you want. Bring the highlights a little bit down. Maybe the exposure a little bit as well. And now you have much more detail in the shirts as it was before. And this is the difference right now. Just a perfect photo to put on your Instagram. And let's go further with the next photo. Let's choose this one. This photo we took inside our riot in Morocco. So this lightning is very different than the previous photo. For this photo I'm going to use wonder colors. And this is what's happening. A way more bright photo than it was before. All the blue colors are popping. And it's a great shiny photo to use as an eye catcher on your Instagram feed. You can use this filter on any photo. For example, this is a JPEG photo, but now I'm going to click on a RAW photo. Click on Wonder Colors again, and boom! All the colors are changing to a more sunset style, and the only thing I would like to do again is bring the highlights a little bit back over here. And that's how easy it is! After these three city photos, I'm now going to show you what kind of effect these filters have for uh, landscape photos as well. So let's pick a landscape photo. Let's go for the tulips. Well, the colors of these tulips are already so beautiful in this original photo. But as you can see, this photo is a little too dark now. If you go to the presets and click on Calm Landscape, the photo is way more brighter now and all the colors are so much more vibrant. It's almost just like a painting. Let me show you another one. This is a photo of Nick longboarding near the beach in Holland. And as you can see, there's not so much happening in this photo right now. So click on Calm Landscapes again. And as it does in this previous photo, all the colors are changing in this photo as well. It does all the great things to the sunset in the back of the photo. And all the nature colors over here are now a more combination of green and orange instead of only green, like this. I really want to show you that these presets can be used on RAW photos, JPEG photos, drone photos, GoPro photos, every kind of photo. So I'm now going to show you how one of our presets is working on a drone photo. So let's click on this photo. This photo we made in Sri Lanka last year. A pretty cool island with a lot of ocean around it. I really want that these colors are way more popping than it is right now. So let's choose for moody moments. And look what it does. All the colors are way more bright than it was before. The more special thing about this preset is that the orange colors are way more brighter than in the other photos. So all the green colors are a little more dragged to orange. 
which create the moody moments. I can show you the same thing on this photo. This photo we made with a GoPro, so as you can see it works perfectly. Like I said, all the green colors are turning into a more orange color. The sky is way more calm now than it was before, so you'll get a pretty cool contrast between those colors. There's one thing I will do to add a little more extra depth in this photo, and then I will go to the radial filter, drag this in the part of the photo where the lightning is coming from, go to exposure and drag this a little bit up. Give it a little bit contrast and a little bit yellow. The reason I do that is to give this photo a little bit depth, so it, it just looks like that there is a lot more sunshine than it was in real life. So now let's go to the scent in our hair filter. We've made this filter for all the pictures that include scent, so beaches, Saharas, everything like that. Here we have a picture of a beach in Thailand. Let's go to the scent in our hair filter and boom, this is a way brighter picture than it was before. It really gives you that tropical feeling because of all the bright colors. And as I said, it works perfectly on these type of photos, but at Sahara photos as well. So click on the Sahara photo, go for scent in our hair, and you get this perfect bright vibe. So now Hannah showed you five of our nine presets. You can get all nine of them on saltonhair.com slash presets. So if you enjoyed our presets and you use them on your Instagram photos, make sure to include the hashtag salt on hair presets and get the chance to get featured on our Instagram and Facebook. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. We can't wait to see what you will create with our presets. Bye! Bye. <laughs>